What up YouTube, Asian Persuasion here, back with another video for you guys. I know it's been a while, but now we got a new post June ban list. And today I had my first locals playing under the June ban list. So we got a lot of new cool things. No more uh, triple rice heart. We only got one rice heart, thank God. That's my favorite hit. Uh, no Diablos. So pretty excited. New format, wide open. Um, and I'd like to show you my first place deck profile. So today I went to my locals and I played one of my rogue decks. One of my favorites. We played... Peer Mech Knight. I just really like this deck in open formats when people don't know what to play because this deck is just a generically good rogue deck that can beat most things. Um, it struggles against some combo decks that make it too crazy of a board, but or if they have hand traps with the board, then it's hard to break. But other than that, I'm going to just go into the profile, show you guys what I did and what I used for this new uh, June ban list. So first things first, we're playing three of one of the best Mech Knight. We're, playing, we're playing the three Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. This guy's pretty much your Wind Up Rabbit effect. Search any um, uh, Mech Knight besides himself and he returns during the standby phase. So don't forget, returns not a special summon. So there you go. Uh, yeah, level eight, best one, starter. Yeah, this guy is a beast and he's huge. So not much to explain there. Just, just a little bit to explain just for people that don't know what Mech Knights do. Um, this one's the next best Rota. This is the guy that can blue for two is the phrase all the time. So they also put someone in the column. This one searches up to the how many cards your opponent has. So if you gear suit token them and they have a back row, they have two in the back row. Or back row and then the gear suit token, you search two. If they have a link, a monster in the monster monsters, the main monster zone, and then a spell and trap, you search three. So he searches any of them, uh, any of the Mac Knights besides blue. So this guy's one of the good ones, obviously. And the best normal summon in your deck, because you only have this normal summon, is Gearsu. Uh, this card's cracked. This card gets your whole engine going, gets your World Legacy cards in the grave, so you can make uh, Lib, which is your best extra deck card. And he summons tokens, which allows you to go first if your opponent makes you go first. So actually, going first, you can go like plus three. It's pretty crazy. You can make a, a skill drain board with it, so it's pretty good. Um, and, or you can just leave the token to disrupt the Sky Striker player. Like, this is my best matchup going against Sky Striker. You give them a token and you don't, you don't lib spin it. You just keep it there and make them deal with it the whole game. So yeah, Gearsu, the best normal summon in your deck. He's crazy. Uh, next up we have Shifty Boy. He moves. The monster pop red and the back row pop yellow. These are just one of the tech, just so you have different names to special summon so you can initiate OTKs, extra links. There you guys go. Um... Next, we have the card that you generally want to send off of uh, Gearsu. This is the World Legacy card that you want to have in your grave because it gives you a follow-up the next turn by banishing it. Your next turn besides the turn it's uh, sent there to search any World Legacy spell or trap. So this is a good follow-up. Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, we got the next up. We have the next uh, best board breaker in monster form, Kaiju. This is just generically good against most things. I can't play Lava Golem because I normal summon, so this is the best one. Deal with one Rice Heart. Boom. Tribute play. Uh, and Rice Heart doesn't really hurt the deck. It makes it just play really awkward because you won't get a World Legacy card in the grave. So it does make it awkward, but you can play. Uh, three, World Legacy's Memory. Uh, so this card's a e telly for the Mech Knights. Special Summon the Defense, and you're locked to Mech Knights, but it's returned to your hand in the end phase. And it's quick play. So you get to play this on your turn and then their turn. Um, we got the one Reborn, which is Succession, and the one Key. You only need one of each. You just cycle through them by searching. Um, the next good board breaker cards, we got Change of Heart, Mind Control, I'm a Link deck, so pretty much I can steal any of your monsters, bait and negate, these cards do both of those for me, I can just prohibit, uh, enable OTKs with Change of Heart, I can't tag with this one, but you can tag with this one, so yeah, pretty cool, steal right heart, make a Zeus, main phase too, pretty, pretty dope, um, we got the board breakers, we got the Harpy's Feather Duster in the main, because it's a wide variety of decks right now, I can't tell you what the best deck is, because I don't know what the best deck is. I don't think anyone does, especially right now in the format. Uh, two Lightning Storm, because this is at two now for some reason on the ban list. Probably the dumbest hit, but what, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, next up, I play two Dark Ruler. Generally, it'd be three, but we do play a spell card that can enable itself to look like one of these cards, be one of these cards. So I just in the, wanted to play two. Two Dark Ruler's to break boards. Uh, two Triple Tactics, because this is probably the best uh, to play when they're hand trapping you to death. Um, yeah. You already know what this card does. Too, too good. And this is why I only play two Dark Lord, because you can kind of just search the cards you need. Uh, you can get 
Dark Ruler, you get Tactics, you get Prosperity, you get Evenly Match that I play. Yeah, this card's like more copies of all those other ones. So I might honestly buff that up. Um, and then we got the Consistency card because it's a column. You can set it before you start prospering or break their board or whatever. So this card's the best card in your deck to have Consistency. Next up, we got Three World Legacy Secret, which is Reborn and Skill Drain for monsters that activate in front of Mech Knights. This card's one of your best cards in your deck. And this is the Spell Negate and gain a thousand during a uh, damage step for a level five or higher monster. So a Spell Negate for whatever's in in front of a Mech Knight. And then one of the best board breaking cards because I'm obviously gonna uh, choose to go second. I play three evenly match. And this just helps you simplify the board to like one card. Then you can play with that one column and then give them Gearsy token. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. So this is one of the best card uh, board breakers in the deck. Um, so as you see, I play no hand traps. I'm there to break their board. So that's probably my favorite way to play this deck. I have no interruption for you until I break your board. And then I make my board. Um, next up, let's go with side deck first. Uh, we play three Ibli. Um If you don't know this card does, it's obviously Cancer. This card is, it makes a lot of rogue decks not be able to play, like Sword Soul, Cash, decks that don't link some and lose to this card. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, Ibli. Uh, I don't have other normal summons besides like Gearsu, so I can side this in, I can have six normal summons. Um, pretty good. Stop my opponent from playing. And then for game two and three, I do side, uh, multiple hand traps, uh, Nibiru. It's just good to go first or second if I don't know if they're gonna let me go first or second, because this card just did going either or first or second. Uh, next up, we got three. Domestial Bear, kind of afraid of Brandon because that deck's still pretty much untouched besides Expulsion being banned, so this card's just good. And plus it hits things like Sword Soul and generic decks like that. And then we got one of the best cards in uh, Floodgates that you can play in uh, Mech Knight. It's Summon Limit. You play this and you have big 2,500 beaters or bigger uh, 25 defense beaters. It's pretty hard to play when your opponent has a special summon or normal into this card. Like, it simplifies the game really easily. Um, and it's really good going first card, so it just makes it really... Make some question about making you go first or second after they see stuff like this. And then uh, another going first card is Anti-Spell Fragrance. I'm playing this because I really feel like Sky Striker's a, uh, gonna be a popular deck now that engages at 2 and multi-rolls at 3. This card helps you beat that deck, hands down, because then you get a column. Because you, you flip this stand, draw phase, and then they have to play, set their columns. I get to play with all your columns. You can't Widow Anchor me the next turn, and I can just OTK you freely. Yeah, this card's crack. And for the extra deck, we play the One Ding Girsu, because you can actually make it with two level H, which is uh, purple and Indigo Eclipse. You can make this card the hard way, or you can make it with Galatea, because Mech Knight, uh, the Girsu is a Mech Knight you can use to make the Galatea Orcus Link. Uh, the one Zeus, because I don't have to play two no more, because the cash tier can't rip my extra deck with Diablos. Thank God. Feels good. Um, we play the one Amaros. This is obviously just for um, Ibli. You use this for Ibli, and then you summon the Ibli that are bored, you have this. And then the, the zero attack, they can't crash this, so if as long as you special summon all your mech knights in defense mode, they cannot go swing it, your Ibli to attack and try to crash into anything. Um... We got the Link Kariba for the combo with the Gear Suit to make the Zeus play. Um, we have the one Link Spider for the Nib token, so that way you can keep going. And then we got the Galatea, of course. Uh, Galatea, broken. Um, we got the two Mech Knight Morningstar, so this card's amazing. This card, uh, burn, uh, Mech Knight, this, or a uh, World Legacy card to search a Mech Knight. Uh, uh, World Legacy Spell Trap for your deck to hand on this card. And then... Can't destroy by battle on Mech Knights that aren't in front of it. So, yeah. And take no damage unless you're in front of the Mech Knight. Really good. Uh, three Lib. This is the best extra deck card. Spin. Uh, Non-targeting. When it's Link Summon. And then you can set a World Legacy Spell Trap whenever you have him face up on the field. He's the best Link in your deck. And then we got the one Spectrum. The one Avermax. Obviously because we're Mech Knights. The one Access Code Talker. And the one Underworld Goddess just because. Um... Kind of just filler, honestly. Because now, look, you guys, you can play not two ofs in your extra because Diablos is banned. You don't have to do that two of crap no more. So you don't get extra deck rip. So yeah, that is the new format Mech Knight profile. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the, uh, down below. Comment down below what you guys think the best deck is. What kind of videos you guys want to see. You want me to keep doing deck profiles for the new format? Let me know. Or you guys want to 
me to profile the Cyber Dragon God. I know y'all want that. So I'll probably be doing that tomorrow at my local. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we're signing out. Peace.